Good afternoon, and welcome once again to my daily chat, uh, episode number 953. And the topic today I'm going to ask you, or talk about rather, is what do you really want this year? And the second part, which is going to be the interesting part, is how are you going to get it? Hmm. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I've been talking, or if you haven't seen my broadcast this year, since it is the new year, I've been talking about news resolutions a lot, and basically <laughs> slaying them, so to speak because I'm really adamant about how resolutions don't work. Um, there actually is a statistic I have found, which I was happily sharing, because it backs up my perception and perspective, that 92% of, pe- of New Year's resolutions die within the first two weeks. I should say 92% of resolutions people make don't last more than two weeks. It's probably the way it was said in the actual survey. So I have suggested a bunch of things, and I can let you know how to find those replays. I talked about the four things you can do to instead of... Um, resolutions that are much more effective. I'm actually in the middle of two of them myself, um, just putting together my vision board. Um, or I should say just started because I've got a long way to go yet. Um, and that's one of the four, by the way, is vision board. Actually, give you, just to give you the title so you know what I'm talking about is intentions instead of resolutions. Vision boards to help give you a visual reference for your... Um, what's what we're looking for? A visual reference for your intentions. Um, embodiments you can take on the feeling what it feels like and also affirmations to keep anchoring them that's the four things I talk about and if you want to go in greater detail I'll send you I can put the I'll put the episode numbers in the comments so you can check them out for yourself so now you've got the new year started um, sorry I was just looking at the other screen so I see who that was <laughs> funny because I saw I saw something come up, up on the screen didn't see who it was so I had to go look at my computer screens it shows it there all right Thank you for the love. Um, so my question again, to start off this topic, go back to the beginning, is what do you really want to have? What do you really want to have? What do you really want to have? What do you really want to do? What do you want to be this year? And how are you going to have, make it happen? So first of all, start off with the right, on the right foot, which is getting clear about what you want. There's been a lot of people who are already started this year and forgotten or don't even, haven't even bothered to have any clarity about what is they really want to happen this year, where they want to start, where they want to go, what they want to do how they want to be and frankly it's a it's like um well there's a there's a quote quote making other plans oh there's there's a couple of quotes about plans i'm not going to go into now because i can't remember them um but i know it's about the fact that if you don't make plans nothing's going to happen so having a clear intention having a clear vision of what you want to create is a good place to start because if you don't it's going to basically be autopilot and autopilot isn't usually what you want And so what I'm really asking and suggesting is get clear what you want. I mean, it sounds simplistic to say this, but if you don't actually get any clarity of what you want, first of all, you won't know when it shows up. And secondly, you won't have any um, hints of how to get there. So knowing what you want is a good place to start. Then, because I just said the second part of the question, how are you going to get there or how are you going to make it happen, is when you have clarity about what you want, that's when wonderful things start to happen. I said again, the four things I recommended instead of resolutions is intentions first. Because intentions have this amazing gift within them. When you set intentions in motion and you start declaring them, it's like you put out a call to the universe for support. Meaning that when you set your intentions in motion, things show up out of the blue that you couldn't have expected. An example I can from from my own recent experience, because this was last Saturday. Yes, last Saturday is I, I had set an intention um, before the beginning of the year that my intention this year is going to be speaking on stages to start be, become a teacher on stage, other people's events and stuff, and, and different venues. Saturday, I got a call from a friend of mine out of the blue asking me if I wanted to go speak on stage at a friend's event she's putting together. Now, I didn't ask her about that. I didn't put out anything publicly about that. I was just setting intention for myself. I may, I may share it on Facebook Live, take it back. But the thing is that the universe, the, that outside of me, showed me already one way it's going to happen or one way it can happen so what i'm want to make you sure you understand is you can do this too <laughs> this is not a per, not a gift that i have personally created for myself this is a universal principle that when you get clear about what you want the universe listens in fact it listens very well because if you haven't been clear about what you want what you've been getting what you've been experiencing it's probably been what you didn't want because that's what the universe was hearing so being clear of the universe in your declaration and intention setting is a fundamental piece to getting what you want. 
So first of all, intentions. Now again, as I said, the four things I mentioned to replace resolutions to be more effective than resolutions could ever be is intentions, vision boards, embodiment practices, and affirmations, those four things. So having an intention first is what sets everything, it's like sets the table, sets the, um, it's like putting the plans out there. Resolutions again, suck. I've said that before, I don't need to keep repeating it. But setting an intention, declaring your intention where you want to be, what you want to have happen, how you want to participate in the world, what you want to experience, those are um, invitations to get support, invitations to manifest, invitations to express in the world a way you can actually have what you want. So first of all, remove resolutions, replace them with intentions. Then the three things I mentioned before as well about having a vision board, which I'm working on right now is why I saw it's on my mind because I've been looking at pictures today and putting things together. It's a vision board is a an anchor, a visual um, heuristic is the term I heard. A heuristic is like an anchor for something or a state resonance so you can be anchored to a certain feeling. So if you have a vision board that is stimulating of your feelings, it works really well. So intention what you want to have and the vision board becomes this um, illustration of what you want to create, what you want to have happen. And well, again, by putting that out, you're making a visual reference for the universe to respond to that. The embodiment piece I mentioned, again, if you don't go into great detail, I can, I'll put the, the episode numbers in the comments so you can check them out for yourself. I'm giving you the very, very short version of each one just so we can get on with the topic. The third one was, in, was embodiment, meaning that what you do, especially with vision board, or even when you talk about your intentions, is to sit in a place where you can be still and internally Imagine what it would feel like. Take on that feeling, almost as if you're transporting yourself into the future, a week, a month, a year, to where that's happening. So you can actually have the experience of it viscerally. Maybe it's a relationship you're looking for. Maybe it's a new career. Maybe it's a new place to live. Maybe it's a new town or, or vacation, something like that. You can imagine what that would feel like. And you can create a very viscerally um, pleasant experience. I'm going to be careful with that one. <laughs> and when you have the understanding that you can do that, then what you're doing is you're creating a resonant frequency. It's like it's like uh, hitting a tuning fork. When you hit a tuning fork, other things of the same frequency will resonate in harmony with it. It's a physics thing. Frequent harmonic frequencies. So if you put into the universe the feeling of that experience you want to have in whatever you're working on, and you do that on a regular, a regular experience, a regular... Um, um, Occurrence? No. You know what I mean. If you do this regularly, <laughs> short talk than that, then you're basically putting out a frequency of the universe that it can respond to because it will resonate with that. And you start attracting what you want. This is one of the secrets, by the way, to attracting amazing relationships. Yes, this is one of my big secrets. And it's in my Attract the Man You Want program. Is you've got to have an embodiment practice within it because it creates a resonant frequency. So that's the third one. And the fourth one is affirmations, which basically affirmations are really a reminder to yourself of what you want to have. In fact, it's a reminder of what yourself Remind it to yourself what's already true, you just haven't got there yet. So having having affirmations are a powerful reminder. Some people look at affirmations and say, let's just do the impossible with affirmations. No. Your intention establishes what you want to create. The affirmation reminds you that it's already coming true. Because it's a declaration in the present moment. It's already happening. That's the power. So you want to create something big this year? Start with those four things. And I'm going to let you know we can go even deeper than that because I've been writing about it today because I'm... Uh, I'm going to email my, my email list t uh, tomorrow morning about this whole thing because I've been talking about this for a while now. Getting clear about what you want is a good start to the year. Setting the wheels in motion the right way with internal connection to resonant frequency with and visual expression of what you want to have is a powerful way to actually have what you want happen this year with ease and grace. Resolutions, as I said, don't work because most of the time resolutions are efforting type things. You're going to make it happen. It's like, I resolve to get results. That's kind of the same tune as those people who are going to go out in the world and going to crush their goals. Like, why would you want to destroy your goals? So I'm much more about doing the inner work. Become a magnet to attract what you want by putting the right things into the magnetic pull that pulls things in. And then life moves with much more grace and ease and you can be much more joyful and a lot less stressed and tired when you get there. If you like what I'm talking about, good, because that's what I'm passionate about. And that's also the reason why I created my BFF Masterclass. It's funny, it came about a different way, but now I'm starting to see more and more how it fits at the beginning of this year for a reason. 
My BFF masterclass, by the way, is called Balance, Freedom, and Flow. Yes, you do become your best friend forever because that's what part of the secret source of my course. But the masterclass is really about how do you set up goals in a way that works. But more than that, how do you live your life in a way that has success printed all over it? How do you live your life in a way that is so joy-filled and celebratory that everything starts to work in your favor? When you have balance, freedom, and flow, that happens. So my BFF Masterclass is starting shortly. The link will be in the comments for you to check it out because that's what these four elements I talked about are the beginning um, tip of the iceberg, so to speak. So again, those four elements will be the things you can replace your resolutions with so you can really get clear, one, what you want to do this year, and two, how to start moving towards it. And you need to do the work. It isn't something that just happens like that. That's why resolutions generally don't work because most people write resolutions down and then they may do a little effort towards them for once or twice and then they give them up. That's why they fail. Resolutions don't work because most people don't put the work in to make them happen because they're not usually that much fun. When you set an intention in motion with embodiment and vision boards and affirmations, you start to create a very attractive energy that you like playing in, which is another reason why these work. See, there's, there's, there's methods of my madness. So please check out the BFF Masterclass. The link will be in the comments because I believe this will transform your life. It's a master group that I'm putting together. It's a three-month journey. We'll go deep. We'll have fun. You're going to get amazing results because you'll be aligned up to your true alignment of heart, spirit, and, and all that you want. If that scares you, definitely sign up. <laughs> so again, link me in the comments. It's, it's back. Just in case you want to know what it verbally is, it's barryselby.com forward slash BFF. Take a look. Sign up. Let's get started. Um, with that, let me see what else I want to say. Get clear. Yes, do that. Do that. Do that. Get four, yes. Okay. Link me. In the, I will put in the comments the four episodes, which was actually nine forty four to nine forty seven, which was New Year's Day to four days after the Saturday, which were the four things I talked about how to set up your New Year right. So those four things I mentioned already. I think the deeper, the deeper version of each one of those, I'll put the the name, the episode number in the comments. I'm trying to say it in English, so you can go look at them yourself and use them for your betterment. I'm so passionate about this now. It's become it's become my my. Um, it's not joie de vivre. Joie de vivre isn't really what I'm talking about. Looking at it, it's my it's it's my um, it's my passion. <laughs> Simply put. If you want some of that, come play with me. Um, link will be in the comments I mentioned. Again, barryselby.com forward slash BFF. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is my daily chat. Every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook. Um, this is something I love talking about, sharing, inspiring, having you have more joy in your life. So definitely watch them because there's 950 plus broadcasts that will teach you how to have more fun in your life, more joy in your life, and healthier relationships too. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, the replays, well, actually, my personal page is Barry Selby on Facebook, by the way. If you want to join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time, the replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. You can certainly find the last few hundred of those, including the four I mentioned, episodes 944, 945, 946, 947. Those will be over there. Um, but it doesn't show all of them. But I have a backup on my YouTube channel. And if you, by the way, so please like my business page, which is Barry Selby, the author. And then go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. And subscribe. Yes, I'll give you all the instructions. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. We find all these broadcasts from newest to oldest. And you can search through from there, from the from this one all the way back to the beginning. And just to be clear, some of my early broadcasts are interesting to watch because I've come a long way in three years. Um, and basically, you get what you want. There's the, you can search through the YouTube channel much more easily because you can just look for keywords and do find the searches to get what you want. Um, that'll help you find the talks that will help you more easily. Um, that's about it. I thank you for watching. This is my this is my daily chat, as I mentioned. So we'll be back again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about what you want to do this year. What is your intention? What do you plan on doing this year? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. With that, I'll keep you busy. I thank you for watching. I look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. So as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.